Congratulations on the performance. Thank you. Fantastic. Really enjoyed Thanks it. Thanks very much. Um, Got to ask you, uh, Irving, you know, he's not your typical sort of con man in many ways. No. He, he's got sort of a heart of gold, in, you know, deep down in there. Yeah. When David talked about the character and, and you coming on board, how much did he want him to be like the real guy in the Abscab scandals, or did he not want that at all? We didn't discuss that at all, you know, because, uh, you know, when we first read it, it was the historical drama that Eric Singer had written about Abscam, exactly, you know, how it went down. And David found that intriguing, but more as a launching point to investigate these characters. You know, mm. he wanted to make it an emotional uh, uh, drama. So he went away and he did a page one rewrite. He came back with like 160 pages. None of them had any similarities to Eric Singer's uh, uh, original script. And, um, and equally, you know, uh, uh, gave me the freedom for, hey, go away, create this character. You know, I mean, he, he hadn't envisioned, I don't believe, that I would be putting on any weight whatsoever or anything like that. But I just fell in love with the look of Mel Weinberg, who, you know, we took a lot of license with, but who, you know, I made into Irv. And his comb over and his rotund, you know, uh, yeah. physicality and that sort of rolling ball nature uh, to him. And I just loved that. And, and exactly like you said, not the con man that you would expect yeah. to see. And then discovering that this guy is someone who's a real romantic, you know what I mean? He's really dying. He's just trying to recreate his life in a way that can be adventurous and exciting. He doesn't want to accept his lot in life. And he's saying, please forgive me. You know, so I tell a few lies in order to make my life more exciting. I think in order to find some bigger truth, but you know, who doesn't in some ways? Yeah. Well, you know, you've been quoted as saying, you know, that that you probably don't want to do the gaining forty pounds again, maybe for for, uh, for a role again. But you seem to get so excited for these roles that you've had over the years, where you do do a physical transformation, yeah. and it is so exciting. Is well, it? I always I always forget, you know, what I've done before, <laughs> and I always forget the promise I've made never to do it before. Yeah. So Steven Spielberg calls and says, "Hey, I need you to, you know, lose fifty pounds for this role. Would you, it's, is it hard well, to say no? You know, the nice thing to say is that I've never had a single director actually ask ask me to do any of this stuff. Everyone's kind of gone, well, we can probably do it with a bit of makeup, with a bit of prosthetics, we can do it. And then they discover I'm really doing it myself. And they've, they've always gone, are you really, are you okay doing that? You know, are you? Yeah. So I've never actually had anybody say, you have to get to this place. It's always been me who said I have to get to that place. And and I don't yeah. I don't I don't know if you've seen the movie yet, but have you seen Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club? I he, haven't seen that, but I hear he's uh, quite uh, well, well, my question is is when, when you, well, that was right. my question. Do you feel like yeah. you're in a, a club like you can go up to him and say I know what you've been through, man? Like Well, I, I know I I certainly have had many actors call me for advice. And unfortunately, I didn't do it under any kind of doctor's monitoring. And so I'm loath to give advice because what if it goes wrong for somebody else? But, you know, there's really not much of a secret to it. You eat less, you do more, you know? Yeah. And however extreme you take that, the more the skinny you're going to become. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.